Hi everybody, how are you? It's Mike Andrew, once again providing a short video with practical insights as it applies to business and leadership. I want to talk about three well-known derailers. There are actually more than three, but these are pretty common ones I think we can all relate to. And I want to tell three stories to go along with those. These are derailers, well-researched and proven derailers, by the way, that can derail any of us that are on a career track, whether it be a an executive or management track or a professional expert track. One is being imperceptive, imperceptive. You know, you've probably seen those people that have a tendency to say the wrong thing at the wrong time to the wrong audience or the wrong person. It's very disruptive. It can be hurtful and uh, cause some damage. And when you score, when you score in the extreme end of imperceptive, and you score at the extreme end low without the ability to handle that imperceptive, which is interpersonal sensitivity. Watch out. I've seen people like this. I coached one guy once from a very, very well-known global oil company. He was responsible for 10 to $12 billion worth of business, had a successful career. And I never met him until that morning. And I had his assessment report in front of me extreme imperceptive. On a score of zero to 100, he was 100 on uh, imperceptive and a zero on interpersonal sensitivity. It was glaring. So I gave him that feedback. Of course, he refuted it. He disagreed. He pushed back. He thought it was nonsense. And I'm telling you, I said, look, I don't know you, but I have to tell you this. This isn't, it isn't even close. If it was borderline, you know, we could talk about it. So um, next day he came up to me and said, I, by the way, uh, I spoke to my wife last night. She wanted me to come back and talk to you. She said that you were absolutely right. Um, but eventually, as successful as he was, he was derailed. He got let go because of uh, that uh, derailing behavior. Two, volatility. You know, the, the higher we go in, in management, the more stressful our job becomes. So volatility, you know, peep the inability to handle stress can be a derailer. Now, you can score on the extreme end of volatility, but the, you can manage volatility, you can manage stress, but if you can, if you score low on ability to manage stress, we call it an adjustment. Again, two extremes, watch out. Um, I had to interview somebody, we, we were looking in a previous company, we were looking for a plant manager in a very dangerous country. So it was difficult to find somebody. Well, we found someone who was willing to interview for the role. Um, I assessed him uh, before the interview. And again, he scored on the extreme end of volatility and the extreme low on adjustment, the ability to handle stress. And uh, also I found out when probing during the interview that his last three trainings that his previous company gave him had to do with stress management. Um, and so when I presented his case to the executive team, I said, watch out, be careful. And sure enough, about two months later, after he started the job, these behaviors came out and it derailed him as well. The third is one that we can relate to. We probably all know have, and have worked with people like this. It's arrogance. Confidence is good, but confidence taken to the next level becomes arrogant or bold or a sense of entitlement without the ability to handle that, which is, you know, humility, as well as interpersonal sensitivity. You could call it EQ, emotional intelligence. Um, I've had conversations with people. I said, you have to change that behavior. It will derail you right out of the company. And they're so arrogant, they don't believe you. Well, I had someone working for me that was derailed right out of the company because his arrogance became pervasive and well-known throughout the company. So scoring high on arrogance, low on interpersonal sensitivity without a sense of uh, humility could potentially derail you as it does in, in, in this case. So I wanted to give you three examples of potential derailers. There are more than these three, but I wanted to give you common ones with some stories around being imperceptive, saying the wrong thing at the wrong time to the wrong people, uh, volatility without having the ability to manage that volatility, and being arrogant without any sense of humility or interpersonal sensitivity. So whether you're on that management executive track or professional expert track, watch out for 
uh, we all have derailos to some extent, and as long as you can manage them, you'll be okay. Uh, thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.